The following is content for adult collectors. This content is not intended for children. The much anticipated Super 7 Ultimates Mighty Morphin Power Rangers have been announced and are ready for pre-order. But are they worth $55 each? Let's discuss it today. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Steve here, and we're going to have a discussion today. Today we're going to talk about the brand new Super 7 Ultimates Mighty Morphin Power Rangers line and whether they are worth $55 each. Before we get into that, make sure you are smashing that like button, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button, make sure you are hitting that notification bell. Uh, so that when new videos such as this discussion here today go live, you are one of the first people to find out about it. Now, let's get into our discussion. Alright guys, the Super 7 Ultimates line is here, and you know what? They look really, really good, so we're going to get into seeing each figure and what they come with, and then we're going to talk about the pros and cons about each, uh, about not about each figure, but about the line, as to whether they're worth $55 each compared to the $19.99, I believe they're $21.99 now. They've gone up by $2 in the States, um, but they are $30 figures here. Um, so we're going to talk about the difference between $55 um, in the U.S. for these Ultimates and the uh, $22 price range for them in the States. Let's get right into it. First, we're going to look at Goldar. This is probably one of the best Goldars I've ever seen. As you can see here, he comes with two interchangeable hands, two fists, two gripping hands, two gripping hands that are vertical, uh, two expressive hands, um, two of the extended wings, two of the hidden wings, his sword, the five badges of darkness, and the power coin box. That is a lot of stuff with Goldar. Next, we're going to look at the Putty. The Putty Patroller also comes with two interchangeable hands. A boulder right hand, a blade left hand. Two fists, two gripping hands, two more gripping hands that are vertical, two expressive hands, a clown collar, a football jersey, a cowboy hat and bandana, removable Z Putty vest, and two removable Z Putty knee pads. Next up, we're going to look at the Green Ranger. And the Green Ranger comes with his Green Ranger helmet. Good Tommy Oliver head and an evil Tommy Oliver head. Two fists, two gripping hands, two gripping hands vertical, two dagger playing hands, two martial arts hands, four interchangeable arms, Dragon Dagger, Dragon Dagger that is classic toy inspired, the Dragon Shield, the classic toy inspired Dragon Shield, Blade Blaster that's also classic toy inspired, Sword of Power, Sword of Darkness, Mega Heater, and an Open Power Morpher. The Yellow Ranger comes with, of course, the Yellow Ranger helmet, the Trini Kwan helmet head, the Alicia Campbell head, two fists, two gripping hands, two gripping hands vertical, two martial arts hands, two expressive hands, two power daggers, also two power daggers from the classic toys, uh, a blade blaster from classic toy inspired, a neutral looking blade blaster, the blade blaster in blade form, and the blade blaster in gun form. She also comes with a power crystal, Deandra flowers, Mr. Tinkle sneezers, and an open power morpher. And then the last one in, in the line here is the Tyrannosaurus Zord. And it comes with Two Red Ranger miniatures, two fists, two gripping hands, two gripping hands that are also vertical, two relaxed hands, and a replica Tyrannosaurus power coin. I mean, just seeing those figures, they look amazing. They are also in the 7 inch, so they are just slightly bigger than our current Lightning Collection figures from Hasbro. Now, Let's take a look at some of the set pros. Alright, some of the pros here obviously are 
They're more detailed than Lightning Collection. They're way more accessories than Lightning Collection. They're limited collectibles. So, when the pre-orders are done on July 30th, that's it. Everything then goes to order, and that is all they're making. That I absolutely love. That means they only make what they sell, and that's it. Those are the just the amount that's going to be available for you to purchase. Some places like Entertainment Earth did a big buy, so there'll be some more out there. You can get them from places like that. But this, I love the fact that they're limited like this. Um, what accessories they come with is a big, big pro. Like the Green Ranger and the Yellow Ranger. They have classic toy inspired bits that come with them. That is just awesome. You can make them, mix and match them and stuff and really, really awesome. Um, Goldar, unlike in Lightning Collection where you have to buy two, and same with the putties, where if you want a Z putty and a regular putty, they come to, you get basically all the parts for both of them in one. You're getting two figures for the price of one. You're getting Goldar with wings, which was a GameStop exclusive, um, and you're getting him without wings, which was just the common release. That is awesome. You're basically getting two figures in one. Same with the putty, because you're getting the Z putty chest and the Z putty knee pads. Uh, the other thing I absolutely also think is a pro, and I really wish Lightning Collection did this, is Yellow Ranger comes with both Yellow Ranger head sculpts. So you get Trini and Aisha. So that if you want to put together your the uh, the later Mighty Morphin team, you can you can so because you assume that they're also going to do this with Zach and Adam and Jason and Rocky. That I think is awesome, and that is a major pro that they come with both head sculpts for both people that play the Yellow Ranger. Let's take a look at some of the cons that I feel um, plague um, these Ultimates. Um, the scale between Goldar and the Rangers. And it's the exact same thing um, with the Lightning Collection. Goldar is the same size as the Rangers, and I think he should be a little bit bigger. So the Goldar from the Super 7 line uh, that we're talking about here, I find will scale better with the Lightning Collection Rangers, because he'll just be slightly bigger than the Lightning Collection Rangers, and that'll be great for people that want to put together some dioramas. I think this, honestly, the scale of the Zords. I don't really like them. Um, I don't like the Zords being the same size as the character. I'm not asking for, like, them to make scalable so that we end up with, like, a, like 24-inch individual Zords. I'm not asking for that. I would actually rather there not be the Zords in this line. I would rather there be a fifth character. That would be my preference. I don't like the scale and the paint job on the little replica Red Rangers for going over the top looks awful. It looks like they didn't even try because um, you can still put some detail in those. Some detail in those would be awesome. You're gonna have to paint those yourselves. Next up, the Zords. They're just gonna be in their um, pose there. They're not gonna be combinable or anything. You're not going to be able to make a Megazord later down the line with all of them. And again, that I put that as a con. All us Ranger Collectors want is to have a combinable Zord. Hasbro's uh, one that they released earlier uh, in 2020, yeah, it lacks in a lot of detail, but at least it still combines into a Megazord. Gotta have those. Again, with the Zords, doesn't come with a lot of accessories like the figures do. It just, it's really lackluster, and that's again a con. Zords just, meh. Next up, and this is just a teeny tiny con um, that goes with one of the pros here, the putty. You're able to make the putty both a Zed putty and a Rita putty. Not quite. Hold your horses there. They didn't include a pair of interchangeable boots. Zed putties have laces on their boots where the Rita putties don't. They should have made interchangeable boots. They're just still going to be inaccurate. And next con is, of course, with the putties again, 
because of the price point of $55, you're not going to want to army build with these putties. Hasbro already has a putty two pack. Um, they have the Z putty common. So you get your putty two pack, you buy three or four Z putties, boom, you've got an army build. The cogs are coming. That's going to be the same thing. You want to army build with those things. Anybody that army builds isn't going to want to buy these putties because of the price point. It's just too much for army building. And then the last one is the Aisha head sculpt. Looks nothing like Aisha. The Trini head sculpt looks like Trini. The Tommy head sculpt looks like Tommy. The Aisha head sculpt does not look like Aisha at all. So, what else should we talk about here? One, we haven't gotten to whether they're worth it yet, and we'll get to there in just a second. But I have also some more remaining questions for this line. One, when we have all the five main rangers, are their weapons going to combine into the Power Blaster like the Lightning Collection does? That's one of the great things I love. Unless you bought the two, the San Diego Comic Con two-pack with both the Jasons um, that comes with an already together Power Blaster, all of the individual rangers their weapons combine to be the Power Blaster. And that is a great detail ha that Hasbro included. I hope Super 7 also included that detail. Will the Red and Black Rangers come with a Dragon Shield? They're in episodes in the MMPR, they were both wearing the Dragon Shield. They got it from Tom. Tommy transferred his Dragon Shield over. And I really hope that both the Red Ranger, Jason, and Zack, the Black Ranger, both come with the Dragon Shield. That would be top-notch. Um, and another question, and this is the same question I have a lot with um, the Lightning Collection that they've kind of done a bit in uh, for Mighty Morphin, but not the other things, is are we going to get a bunch of the side characters? I'm talking like, are we going to get a Finster, a Babu, a Squat? Um, are we going to get a Ninjor and a Scorpina? And an Alpha 5 for MMPR in this line. Like, these are things I want to know um, down the line. Are, are we going to get these? Um, because that would be really awesome to have them. Um, because right now we're not getting Lightning Collection, Finster, and Squat and Babu and stuff, and Bulk and Skull. We're just not getting those. Love to get those in the Super 7 line, of course. And then for the Zords, since they are clearly making Zords, and obviously we're going to get a Dragon Sword because Tommy Anything just sells. Tommy Anything is money. Just, it is. That's the way it is. So we're clearly going to get a Dragon Sword. But are we going to get, like, a Titanus? Are we going to get the Thunder Zords? Are we going to get the Ninja Zords? Or uh, Tor the Shuttle Zord. Like, are we going to get those as well in Zord form once they have the five main Zords and the Dragon Zord done? I would like to know if those are coming. It would just... I would like to know more about what's coming down the line. It seems we only... Unlike Hasbro, which does their announcements like, this is coming, we don't get hints from Super 7 about what's this. And that I would really like to know. So now, the million dollar question. Are these worth $55 US? Well, ultimately, right now, um, we don't know. Um, we honestly don't know. If I just looked at them the way they are there with the all the accessories and stuff they come with, I'm gonna go with yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with yes. They come with like three. A couple of the figures comes with like four, five times the amount of accessories that you get in a Lightning Collection. You, Tommy and or for Yellow Ranger and Green Ranger, you get two different head sculpts. You only get one with the right with the regular one. So I love that. You're already getting more weapons, you're getting more options. They're really playing up to the nostalgia and having like the toy inspired versions of that. So just based on that stuff alone, I would say absolutely yes, they are going to be worth $55 each. Except this is the one exception. The Zords. I don't feel like the Zords are worth $55 US. I just don't. That's what it is. Now, when they charge me $55 US for the Dragon Zord, am I going to pay it? Absolutely I'm going to pay it because 
you've seen you've all seen my Tommy shelf uh, right this side right I gotta have the Dragon's Lord for that shelf so obviously I'm gonna buy, buy that but ultimately the figures themselves Yes, they are worth, I think they're going to be worth $55 US, and when my Tommy and Trini come in, of course, I'm going to review them, and then we're going to have the ultimate decision as to whether they are worth $55 US. And then we will definitely know then. Like I said, except the Zords, I'm not getting the Zords. I'm actually also not getting Goldar or the Putty. Uh, the Putty I don't feel is worth it, um, because... Uh, it's just, it do, I don't feel it's worth it. I don't need another putty. I'm not an army builder. Um, so my one Z putty um, and one regular putty uh, from the Fighting Spirit box, that's fine with me. I'm fine. I don't have the two-pack, whatever. Don't need it. Don't want it. It's fine. And Goldar, I've got enough Goldars. I really do. Um, I don't need a bigger Goldar. And I'm not going to be... I don't do dioramas and stuff, so it's just not going to be good for me. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is our discussion today and my thoughts on the new Super 7 Ultimates Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Wave 1. Tell me what you thought. I would like to know. You can order them still up till July 30th. Um, and this month, that's like two and a half more weeks um, on Super7.com. Um, and then pre-orders are done. Um, you can probably find them on Entertainment Earth. Uh, they are $55 US, but Super 7 is also offering a bundle, all five figures for $275. So make sure you go to Super 7 and check them out if you want. Links are in the description below. While you're down there, make sure you are smashing that like button. And of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you make sure you hit that little notification bell so that when new videos such as this one and our one coming up next week about our big um, road trip this coming weekend come live, you are one of the first to see it. You can, of course, follow me on all my social medias at GBoats Pop Vinyl on Instagram and at GBoats PV on Twitter. Like I said, I want to know what you think about the Super 7 line. Make sure you go down in the comments below and let me know. And until then, may the power protect you. <laughs>